Yay! I know, I'm waiting for a good moment. I know, I know. I wanna taste the pain. I think I'm seeing all right. Two bullets in the gun, one shot. To Why, the hey, hey, the let's go. Out though in this game already. Yo, Junior Attic, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. Here we go. They have bugged my unit. This is how long we've waited. The game has bugged for me. Let's see the camera's in the perfect spot again. We need to get it back to where it should be. But we're Gucci. We're Gucci. You got asked, did anyone else get the boys completely soiled by the ad? Ah, uh, when do plebs play? Plebs have already played, Flakara. They were the very start match up of the battle, so you missed out on that one, sorry. Okay, we're underway here. It is NA versus EU1. Chocolate Paladins versus YAA. It is going to be an interesting battle here. We're on Sun City. We are on Sun City. Good luck to both teams. Let's see how you guys both perform here. Sang Jan, welcome back. Yeah, well said, well said. Thank you for that, appreciate it. We have a delay, so we're a bit late delayed. Players were kicked out for something, for sending new dudes for Mark. <laughs> Let's do this, said. And up in the air. What is the plan here of attack here for the a and &E boys are spread out most of the time. Most of them are out on the, the siege equipment, making sure they take out all the artillery as much as possible. Who won first battle? Kappa. Serslers were uh, won their battles. Plebs had won their battles. So, yeah, Plebs, Plebs won against... Uh, Remember, there's a delay, boys. There's a delay. Just you wait. Hey Blake's mate, hey Blake's mate, there we go, we've got boys pushing the siege towers, um, they're actually pushing, they could have actually smashed the gate down quicker than the battering ram does to get there, but they're decided not to do that. It's going to be interesting to see what the boys do, there's plenty of dual blades over here, you've got Fluffy Labbit, Rabbit and Blake here using the dual blades, obviously everybody's got their full armor and full stats of whatever they could potentially take into battle. Unit wise here it's berserkers, they've got palace guards, they've got some woodcutters, um, yeah it's pretty much all charged units in here and Zykillian militia. On the defense you've got berserkers, you've got IPGs, Fort Abrasio, some units of cavalry in there as well, armagers, um, yeah it's different. I don't know what any of that means, I can, can I allow it? I can't speak, I can't speak po uh, Turkish, I don't even know what you guys are saying, I'm sorry. English only, please, if you can. That would be great. There we go. We're seeing a little sally out from the EU1 boys just to make sure they wipe off the units that are pushing that uh, the piece of a uh, baton ram so that that way they can't, they can't push the baton ram up and destroy the baton ram. So it's a little slow down tactic here. And now they're going to try and defend their hero uh, as they manage to push them off as some of the boys from NA started coming on to rotate here. It's a 3v2 here so far, but units of Martellatory are coming to help. I'm not sure that's going to do much, but they're looking to get the Martellatory pushing the battering ram here. The battering ram is going to still have a countdown timer, but it's usable. Both siege towers are up, and A is going to be free. Tony is going to jump onto that, and A is giving away for free pretty much. The, the boys of YAA are not looking to defend that. They're not looking to defend that. Uh, is it new map? Is this Sun City? It's not a new map, no. It's been around forever. So on Onomi is going to get... Let's go, Paladins! <laughs> let's get some see any love in here. Let's see some YAA love. Please put... Almighty you know, says YAA this must be a fashionable Turkish. fight. It's drawn the finest people. I know YAA is in Turkish, but I don't understand what you're chatting. And my chat is English, I'm afraid. Uh, and just just so you know, you guys can speak Turkish, but if you're in my channel, I can't understand it, so I don't know what he's doing, so I can't moderate the chat. And obviously for me, I need to moderate the chat. So I, I, I ask you to speak it in English, please, if you can, so that I can see what's going on. That's all. Uh, Joe is go up. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the clan. 
Right, so there we go. Any boys have got a stronghold of units up onto the wall. They will start to look towards B. So Jason West is off there to get B. Y A A. The Turkish clan, like we know we are Turkish. We know you guys are Turkish. It just uh, just makes it easier for me, okay? That's all. It's, uh, it's over onto my channel. I know you guys are going to chat between you. It's probably quicker and easier for you guys to do that. But So they're going to get A and B for free here. It's going to give them plenty of time. But they're going to defend the supply point Y A A. They've got units of cavalry out here. There's Winter Sars just been spotted. And the dead. first this one, Tony P uh, PG, picks up the, the kill on people. Anuk. We are down to 14 on the defence there. It's still 15 trebs available, so Chocolate Palins are getting themselves set up here. But it doesn't look like YA are looking to defend the supply point here. They're, they're, they're stand off of the supply point, at least, to then work themselves onto the supply point, which is a very interesting strategy here. And I don't know how this is going to work in their favour. Look, da uh, Dagon, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Loki Dagon, however you say that name, I'm afraid. <laughs> Forsaken Munchuk. That means, can you give me 7.5 euro, thanks. In dollar, please. Kais is coming in here with their unit of uh, claymores by the looks of it. And they're starting to make their push down both uh, sides of the stairs here. As the EU boys aren't really paying attention too much to the supply point. There's only one hero on it. And the enemy boys will just full rotate themselves round to stop them getting onto the point. As that happens, it, the cap supply point is starting to be capped and the push comes in. YAA, letting them come down to the bottom of the stairs as they start to wipe the units so that any boys realise that's happening and they're going to come in for a side flank here on the units. The Hussar charge comes in. It's quite a nice Hussar charge here. Gets a couple of heroes here. Brittle and Rotto goes down here as well and unit-wise it's not that far away though. There's only 50 units in this but the any boys have started to rotate. YAA gets the ISGs in sur surrounding and actually managed to rotate them round. The cap point starts to be taken, but hero wise is in favour of YAA here. We'll have to go more aerial so we can get C around here, but as you can see, the battle fighting on the supply point. We're down to eight heroes for the attackers. Chocolate Paladins are dying a lot quicker than the YAA side are, and it's making it a different story here. Unit-wise, they're in favour of the defenders, and the heroes are in favour of the defenders. They're down to four heroes alive. John Arc starts to chase after Blake and Germs, but Germs clears them off with the musket. Now, the uh, C starts to get capped quite quickly there in the distance there. Unami trying to get onto the point just to scare some of the people, but the defence goes strongly on... Amumu? I, Amumu? I actually don't know him enough to play, to, to give a comment on Amumu. Amumu is here. We'll see We'll see how he turns up today. He's a dual blade. Is, is, he, is he as good as Amumu? That's that's the question. If you're using dual blades, you want to be getting the hero kills like uh, the boys like Kicker6 and Amumu and uh, Tinjev can manage to pull off then. Maybe, maybe he's a good player. I, I've not seen him enough to to comment uh, too much on them. But, like you said here, we've got a uh, 15v15 now. The the girls and guys of NA start to rotate themselves out through the A gateway and they're starting to get themselves in a position here. You can see YAA rotating from the supply point, giving the supply point open here at the moment in time. Safe play style, safe play style. Has he got a safe play style as a dual blade? I don't know, he's... I, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him in the corner of my eye. I'll keep an eye out for a Mumu, see what he do, how he does, um, and see what he gets on with. But here we got the Chocolate Palin is making their way all the way up here, trying to bait in these trebs here and potentially use them well. We've got 14 trebs available still after this one. That treb does hit a couple, dealing some damage to some units here, and they start to cap C. You've got Ripcats, the dual blade. This is a, a dual blade that I know I can comment on. Ripcats is a fantastic dual blade player. Chocolate Paladins with a different strategy. They're going to have to block off their back entrance here and get themselves in a position to defend this. C will start to be capped, and Chocolate Paladins will have the safe advantage here of not getting the supply point, but that, that way they're getting the trebs in and hit 
Ripcats gets whipped out of the, the off the map there a wee bit for a second. And the Brit on Raw goes in for Farfara. Here you got 14 versus 14. Here comes the Hussar charge. In the back of Chocolate Paladins. That is quite a nice wee, wee charge in the back there. But it's still close and close by the fight here. Down at Chocolate Paladins. Look like they have... Uh, plenty of units fighting and defending this point here. We've got Fort Brasher and Modal fighting off here as Fluffy Labbit falls here. Anouk falls as well, but it's 11 versus 10. The NA guys are starting to fight off of these heroes here. If they can keep them alive and keep their units alive, they could potentially go on to move and potentially move forward. Unit-wise, there's a 200 unit difference, but it's in favour of the defending side. Scabies, uh, Scabies. Jumps back on to see to stop it from being capped. And the any guys start to make their way out towards the palace guys who charge in here. Kaisa falls to his death. Lone Swordsman's dead as well here. It is 10 versus 13 in favour of the defenders. The worst part about it is the supply point so far away. And Mumu's defending the supply point himself at this point in time. Not really doing much as a dual blade himself. He's not picking up any kills here. He's just defending that point. But so far, we're down to nine heroes for Chocolate Paladin. It's a different strategy, but they're down to 438 units. And YAA are dominating in this battlefield now. There's ch charges coming in. That charge is going to hit mostly into gate. But... A couple of units do die. Jason West falls to his death here. We're down to 10 for Chocolate Palace. 13. Step, 13. Thre 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 still available. Oh, Minren, imagine. Imagine. Imagine saying something like that in the chat. Poor you. What is Chocolate Paladins going to do for this next push? We're down to 400 units. There's 300 unit difference here. And so far, it's 15 versus 9. Anoma is trying to jump off the back here to try and bait around with his cavalry. He brings in the armor gears with a nice wee charge. Pick it off a hero there. Tempera gets picked off. And then so far, it's a fight at the gateway here. You have more players and heroes here. And units wise, it looks like Chocolate Paladins are getting run down here out of the gateway. People dropping down the dual blade versus dual blade. Amumu gets picked off from Ripcats. Breezy's get picked off. Soy Krim picks off a quad kill here, and the heroes are going. And there goes a wee chat from Easy from the boys of YAA. A little bit toxic there, if you ask me. A little bit toxic, saying it in the middle of a fight, but. They have went on to go on and win this one by the looks of it. Jason West calls in the trap, trying to deal with the units out here and see what happens as the sally out comes in from the YAA boys. They are sallying out on the Americans and so far it's 14 heroes versus 6. Ripcats roaming around. Where is he go where is he where's Ripcats going? Where is Ripcats thinking he's gonna go? He sends off a treb. Ripcats doing it invisibly so nobody can see where he's putting the treb in. He does pick off some units there, but unit wise it's 555 versus 6. There's a couple of heroes fighting on the C point, which is the next push here. But plenty of heroes for YAA to defend that. They start to chase off Mike. Mike and Zedrex gets picked off. Blake is dead. They're gonna start pushing him out of the point of C. Jason West is dead as well. There's Jorna picking up that kill. In the against the short sword. Zedrix gets picked off here by the unit of Soikrim, and so far it looks like Chocolate Palanders are going to lose this one here. OMG! What the fuck is that charge? <laughs> YAA though, looking very strong here on this defense. We have a 400 unit difference and they start to make their way out of the B side gateway and they start to go towards the units and the spawnies of the NA Chocolate Paladins team. So far, so far, it looks like it's their win. Breezy's causing the treb as all the units of YAA start to come out. This treb does quite nice. Quad kill for Repcats. Kaisa falls to his death here. Onomi goes to his death here as well. It looks like it's going to be a full wipe of heroes here potentially out the gate as YAA full on charge outside the gate with their units ready to take it to the Americans guys of Chocolate Paladins. Blake's getting chased around by the pike and he will get knocked off his horse eventually here. The rest of the boys, Ripcats, Fluffy Rabbit out there. Holy Paladin is trying to cap the point of C, but he doesn't do it. The Amumu, is it Amumu gets the kill there? No, nope, Farfaras gets that unit on Holy Paladin. Amumu still not managed to pick up that hero kill here. Amumu, dual blade, doesn't do enough any. He's a zero for zero, 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 zero. Um, 
I don't know what you want me to feedback on that, but that is that is an AFK player if ever I've seen one. Ripcats is a dual blade, finds a Mumu, he comes in. Is he going to try and pick off a Mumu again? A Mumu's gone invisible. It's Invis versus Invis. Let's go watch this fight because that's the only thing interesting going on at this point in time. It's a short sword and a... Uh, oh, there we go. A Mumu's dead. A Mumu gets picked off by the short sword. What can we say about a Mumu? I mean, if, if he dies that quickly and he doesn't do much, that's a shame. That shame. is very much a shame. Well done shame. to YAA. They go on to win this battle and overall dominated the battlefield with a unit count. Almost 500 more units and almost doubled up on the hero kills for sure at this point. Unlucky to Chocolate Paladins. Different strategy in play here. Trying to break them all out into treb trebable areas on this map in Sun City. The difference is the Sun City map. Treb distance is such a far distance to get the trebs in. You can see it coming a mile away. You can rotate units out of there. And that is a GG. Guys, can we get a GG in chat for that one? Can we get a GG in chat? Let me see them. Colt 45 falls, he's dead. Blake falls, he's dead. And they're fighting in this gateway. Blake falls as well. And that is it. GG, GG, Choco Paladins. GG to YA. A fantastic win for you guys. I'm always toxic. Always. There we go. Kaisa gets the MVP for the NA side here. And in unit kills, you've got Ripcats here with six hero kills. Just as you expect as uh, Ripcats, he's a very good dual blade. Blake gets off two. Zedris gets the four hero kills. Uh, but really, in terms of hero kills, it definitely goes all in favour of YAA here. Jamshed is a musket. He has the ten hero kills. That is how you do it. Kill-wise, ten hero kills for him. Jorna with five. The MVP pull up picks up six hero kills with 105 unit kills as our MVP. Fantastic job from him. Anouk picks up five. Where is Amumu? Uh, Amumu picks up four hero kills. Amumu did, did some work there. Four hero kills. It wasn't showing very well on the screen. Amumu with the four hero kills, but good job picking off the heroes very nicely, very easily. And the post match analysis will show that. 54 deaths for Chocolate Paradise versus only 19. For the YAA boys. That was a fantastic, fantastic defense there from the boys of YAA. We'll be looking to see if there'll be any variation or any change 